Rev up your engines! It's time for Scotty Kilmer Duncan. Is your car's steering wheel shaking when you slam the brakes on? Then stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to fix them. If your front brake rotors are warped, every time you hit the brakes, especially stopping from like 60 to 40, the steering wheel will shake because the rotors are warped. So today I'm going to show you how to change brake rotors on a car. Just pull off the wheel and check the brake rotors. You can see they're really worn here. Now you have to remove the brake caliper in order to get to the rotor, so you have to take the two bolts off. And as you can see from this backside view, it's an Allen hex wrench. And in the case of this Buick, it's a 3 8 inch Allen hex wrench. So we'll put the wrench in, make sure it's snug, hammer to loosen it. There it goes. And of course do the same thing on the top bolt. Now the brake caliper often sticks to the rotor, so get a big pair of pliers and squeeze it back in like this. Open it up a little, then put one end on the pad and one on the caliper and squeeze it. That moves it back in. So then you can just grab the whole caliper and get it out of the way. Now the rotors themselves often stick on, so get a big hammer and whack them a couple times. After a few whacks, they come right off. Then just open up your new box with the rotors inside and put them on the car. And realize that if your old brake rotors were warped, so are the old brake pads, so you need to put new brake pads on too. So get them out of the box and install them. Put the inside brake pad in first and snap it in. Then put the outside and snap it in. Then slide the caliper on and tap it in place. Then get your Allen wrench and put it on the two bolts and tighten them up. Tighten with a big hammer to make sure they won't come loose. You don't want the brakes coming off. And of course, don't forget to do the other side because the front brakes work in tandem and you have to change those rotors and pads too. But I won't bother filming this side because it's exactly the same as the other side. So the next time your steering wheel gets the shakes while braking, don't abandon ship, put on a new pair of rotors and brake pads instead. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com.